Hey everybody, it's Rachel. I have a special planning, digital planning video for you today. It's something I just recently started and I am so excited about. Um, so I just recently invested in a new iPad and this is the iPad Pro. This is the nine point something size. I think there's a 12 point something. This is a nine, the smaller size. And in addition to that, and I just went on um, and purchased that online, and then I also purchased in this cute little case, I got this case from Amazon, and I also purchased the Apple Pencil. So it's a little bit of an investment up front. I love this bad boy. And in order to um, really take advantage of the iPad Pro and what it was created to do, I suggest you invest in this bad boy. I have a case on it because I am not fond of thin pens or pencils, so I like to have a thicker grip in my hand. So here is the pencil itself without the case coming out. And so that tip right there is to write, of course, obviously. And then right up here, that is what you use to charge the pencil. When you first get this pencil, um, what you need to do on your iPad is make sure that you turn on the Bluetooth and connect your pencil right down here. Let me lift this up. So right down in there, you just connect your pencil and it'll pop up and ask you if you want to pair it, you say yes and voila, it's as simple as that. My suggestion is that you don't charge it unless it is completely dead. It comes charged already, so just go ahead and use it. Um, it's kind of like your Apple Watch. If you have an Apple Watch, you don't need to charge it every day. Um, a friend of mine just told me she charges hers every two days and gets a better charge and that's the same as with the pencil now the other good thing about this case that I love is that it's retractable so if you just um, twist it you see the point goes away so it protects your point when it's like down in your purse and all of that so the other thing that I like about this case is that it just reminds me of being in elementary school and when the teachers had like chalkboards they would use this like silver casing on their chalk so they wouldn't get like powder on their hands and I just love it okay so got that and then the other thing that I purchased which I haven't used yet is this silicone case I love it's like nice and flexible really soft it feels really comfortable um, I haven't tried that yet but I'm excited and this is on Amazon as well and it comes in different colors and all of that and this case was on Amazon um, I think it's called stylus or I'm not sure and then we have these little pieces to the Apple pencil that are important it's a replacement tip I found that if you don't have like a screen protector whatever's on your screen will transfer to your tip so like if you have greasy fingers or makeup or whatever it gets on your tip so you just got to be mindful of that and then this other piece that comes with your pencil to charge it you just put that on there and then you can put your charger in there or the other way to charge your pencil is just sticking it into your um, iPad and whatever charger iPad has um, will charge your pencil kind of neat from experience or I don't really have a lot of experience but I've tried different digital pencils and they don't work with iPad Pro so I just bit the bullet and made the investment. This is another thing that I invested in and it's just a charger thing that has two ports in it. So I could literally put this in here, charge my pencil, charge, yeah, it's just neat. It's just a neat little thing to have. So that's what I purchased and I just put this in my purse, put this in there, put this in my purse and it's really sleek and ready to go. Okay, so let's get into it. So this is my iPad Pro, that's my family, and the apps that you will need, or that I use, you probably can find something different, but the number one app that you cannot do this without, it's called GoodNotes, and that's the app right there, GoodNotes app. In GoodNotes, you can create notebooks and journals and all of that fun stuff, so I use GoodNotes. The other 
um, app that I use, let's go to my design. Um, I use Procreate. In Procreate, you can um, write, draw, color, you could do whatever you want in Procreate. If you double, use two fingers and just go like this, it erases. How cool is that? Like, I'm still learning these programs. I'm so excited. You could twist your page. That's in Procreate. The other um, app that I've been using with my journaling is this Graphics. And I use, uh, let's see. Let's, don't save, I don't need that. I have been using my fonts and stuff, writing in here, and then exporting that into my journal because I don't really like my journal, my planner, because I don't really like my handwriting. So let's go to the good notes. So this is good notes. I know it works for Apple. I don't know if it works for Android. Um, and right now I have three notebooks. I have a planner that I tried and it just didn't, wasn't my thing. It reminds me of the Erin Condren planner, which I love. I'm an Erin Condren girl and I love planners, organizers, all of that. Monthly view and then your weekly view. But I just didn't care for it. So. I went to, let me close all of these, let me go back, to, I use Boho Berry, Boho Berry has videos, and she has an Etsy shop, and that is my go-to, she even has a lot of tutorials, so I encourage you to go to that as well, and let's go to the beginning, so here is my journal, that's the cover, that's the inside, and the good thing about this is it has a bunch of tabs and these links yeah you can click on them and it'll take you right to that page so um, if you just scroll that's just more of my journal down here these square boxes this is a graph page another graph page with the dots line pages and a blank page and that you can insert those into your different sections before I get to my monthly and my weekly in this particular planner, it has um, other sections that you can kind of personalize to make it fit your life. And um, mine is to do, schedules, meetings, finances, notes, and reminder. I um, work in full time ministry at my church. I'm a mom. I love to create. Um, I'm just busy. And so I created the tabs that fit my life. So here in my to do, I just have a little verse right there and just labeled it to do if you just swipe your finger like that it literally turns the pages how cool is that and here's my to-do list for next week that I started on those that I need to call um, the important stuff and the um, the good thing is see how I have all my little stickers and you know it kind of just mimics a planner which is awesome well it is a planner it's just digital keep on going that was my to-do list from last week and notice my handwriting it's just not that great like it's just not that great so that's why I decided to use this font it's called bubble berry oh wait berry bubble berry bubble font which I love it's kind of just girly and whatever then my next so that was to do and then if you just tap on schedules um, I keep track of a lot of schedules at my job so this is my schedule section and that is um, at my church Parkway Life Church this is our order of service I'll probably switch that out every week um, and if you click on the lasso tool I'll go over those in one second you can literally just grab and move it and make it bigger smaller delete it whatever so it's kind of neat so it's easy to um, change swipe again that's our vocal schedule um, I'm on the worship team at the church and just kind of fill in when needed so I put that in my planner and then my husband oversees the Christian education department at our church so this is our kids schedule on Wednesday and on Sunday and then okay so that's to do that schedules and then now I'm gonna go to meetings I'm always involved in lots of meetings planning events and things like that I just set up my planner probably for the last couple of weeks since I've been sick I would say since I had the flu um, back in May mid-May so um, this is as far as I've gone so I'll be using this starting next week I've got some meetings coming up so I just inserted some lined pages and put our church logo on there 
And then the next tab is our finances. And I just started this this morning and created this spread and each, this represents a week. So I'll write on here what I have to pay. I'll probably list all of my monthly bills so I don't forget to <laughs> pay a bill. And that is that. And then here in my notes section, this is, I haven't written my tab out yet, but this is probably where I will take notes in church or if I go to a special like Bible study or just doing my own study. You know, I'm reading, I'm starting to read different books and things like that. So I'll probably jot some notes in there. And then finally, this is my favorite section. This is a remember, I entitled it remember, but it's kind of like my own personal section my own journaled section or whatever and so there's a picture of my family and here's a sleep log i am not the best sleeper so well actually by this it looks like i'm sleeping quite well um it's been great these la this last probably month or so but the green is the hours that i sleep the pink is when i take naps which is usually like an hour on the weekend and I use the bathroom a lot <laughs> in the middle of the night. So I've been tracking that because I am I have a physical coming up. So I wanted to keep track of what that looks like. So I can go over that with my doctor. And then I created a gratitude page. I love this page because when I'm feeling particularly stressed or down, it just helps to reflect. So just a few things that I'm grateful for. Here I created books that I'm reading. I just recently... Um, picked up books and forgot how much I love to read uh, my mother-in-law gave me some books to read and I picked up some so I just started jotting down books either I should change this because it's like books I've read or books I'm reading and then I also have my health I'm keeping track of my health because my health can be iffy sometimes either I'm really really good or terrible so right here I just put down that I had the flu in May and then I'm gonna start a Netflix page I'm such a Netflixer wait Netflixer I don't know if that's a thing but I love Netflix um, right now I'm, I'm watching the crown oh it's so good so I'm gonna start jotting down the things that I watch in Netflix um, just you know it's just a good way to remember things here in good notes if you hit this little square button oops, sorry it will kind of bring up a thumbnail view so it helps to quickly click where you need to go and I'm going to bring you to my monthly spread of June so here is the monthly spread of June um, if you want to see a blank one let's bring you to October this is what it looks blank that's what it looks like blank for my June I think what I've decided to do for my monthly is see like these different um, images around the side it kind of just when I look back those are like my highlights things that I love um, in the month of June and as you can see one of the things that I love about this is that you can simply spread it as wide as you want it to go look at that look how wide it goes and it doesn't pixelate or anything and with this pencil, if you click on the pen right here, you can pick your colors, all of that. I'll do a separate video on how to do that. But you can literally just write. Deep, deep, deep. Cool, right? So that is what I love. But I don't really like my handwriting, like I said. So I use a font instead. So, and now here's the weekly. This was like the first week that I started using it. Um, faithfully like every single day and you'll notice look at the difference between my handwriting and font handwriting I just I don't know I did a little bit of journaling right there got my stickers um, different things happening this is next week or the week coming up um, that's how I did that spread the following week I started decorating it I just need to plug in some appointments I have so on and so forth and then it takes me to July uh, my youngest is turning four. That's his, his birthday is July 1st. So it's kind of geared around him and the 4th of July. So that is that. And then I'll be on vacation and going camping. So the other thing that I have, so that's my 2008 planner. Then I also have a sticker book. Let me go ahead and just take you to the cover. So that's the cover of my sticker book. 
Guys, I have collected all of these stickers over the internet. On Etsy, you can purchase like sheets of stickers, um, just different places, and you just import them into your good notes. I, I kind of made some myself. Where's the other? Where's the one I made? Like if you notice here, um, Hernandez family, Albert Lincoln, me, mom, church service, camping, different things that pertain to my life personally um, that I probably won't find in it in an Etsy shop or so that's that. I love it. And the way you grab these stickers, let me show you. If you hit the lasso tool, circle it, tap it, copy, go into your planner, hold it down, hit paste, voila. How cool is that? Right? I love that. Up here, that is for thumbnails. So you can have a thumbnail view. This is so you can import or you want to add something, add a page, add a bookmark, add a text box. Here's where you can type something and it'll appear on your page. Um, or like I keep some of my images in my photos. So if I go in my photos, here's some more images. I use a lot of Bitmojis because it kind of just gets the job, job done and it looks like you. So I like that. Then over here is the shape tool. I love this guy. I'm, I don't um, draw very well. So like if I, if you wanna draw a straight line and it's kind of crooked, watch what happens. Bam, look at that. Makes it nice and straight. That's on the shape tool. And this is something I never use. It, it's like, it just zooms in if you're writing and you really want it to be magnified. You don't really need to do that though because I feel like all you have to do is this. Just spread it open, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You gotta just find what works for you. So that's basically it for the good notes. Um, and you can create a book by either importing a planner or creating your own notebook. So I will be posting just little videos on things that have helped me along the way, but this is kind of like just an overview of good notes and journal planning, journal planning, <laughs> journaling and planning. And I love it guys, I absolutely love it. I don't have to bring around with me a bulky planner, sometimes two planners, depending on what projects I'm working on. Um, and I don't have to worry about stickers and my kids taking my stickers and losing stickers. Oh, ugh, that's all gone, 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 gone. I literally, my, my church calendar and personal calendar is right here on Google, which is, oops, sorry Siri, which is right here, down here on my bar, my, my GoodNotes app, and that's it, like, that is it. I take this, I got this case from Amazon, it's super thin. They now make cases that will fit your Apple Pencil, but I use, I like to use these cases to put my pencil in and that makes it bulky and it usually doesn't fit. So that's why I got a pencil case. So if you have any questions, reach out to me, rhernandez at plcministries.com or comment on this video and I'm happy to answer any questions. Happy planning guys.